the next factor of production is labor now what do you mean by labor labor is that factor of production which is contributed from the humans side it is the manual factor of production it is also called as the man force labor also means mental or physical exertion done for a reward and not for the sake of pleasure or love it means doing some work be it mentally or physically so as to get some reward not doing something just for pleasure sake not doing something out of love for example a housewife and a maid both work at home but a housewife works for reward sorry but a maid works for reward but a housewife works out of love so there is a difference between the two in economics the work of a maid is labor the work of housewife is not labor in economics by the way what do you think is the reward of labor the reward for labor is wages now let's see what are the characteristics of labor first it is the human effort we all know that labor puts in human effort labor puts in his physical exertion he puts in his mental exertion it is the human activity so labor is done by humans it is the human effort labor is perishable now since labor is a human entity it is also subject to the limitations of time labor also ages so the time of labor once lost is always lost it cannot be reversed back so the time that has gone by and the labor in that time has not worked that time has gone that work has gone it cannot be done again or reversed back in this sense the labor is perishable even otherwise there is a time limit to which labor can be done after a certain age it becomes difficult to apply physical force or to apply mental exertion so people tend to retire after an age so we say labor is a perishable factor of production labor is inseparable from laborer now this is very easy to understand that labor comes from laborer we cannot separate these two we cannot segregate these two factors labor is a function of laborer only a laborer can put in labor machines cannot put in labor capital cannot put in labor labor is only the domain of laborer so they both cannot be separated power of labor differs differs from labor to labor now some laborers or some laborers are more powerful some laborers are less some laborers have a better skill some laborers don't have that much so what happens is when they are producing they all have different qualities all have different parts 
so power of labor differs from labor to laborer all labor are not productive it is a well known fact that all laborers cannot be produce productive all laborers cannot be equally productive some laborers are more productive they are highly productive others are not that much productive on the contrary some may be some may have zero productivity now if you ask a laborer who was employed in the factory of manufacturing garments to produce guns he'll have zero productivity however in the same factory which produces garments you may find laborers who can produce a higher amount of garments in the same time than some other who produce lower amounts of garments so the productivity keeps on changing from laborer to laborer labor has a poor bargaining power he does not have a good bargaining power why because labor is economically weak the person who employs labor is economically stronger than him so he has the bargaining power whereas labor does not have a strong bargaining power next is labor always has to choose between the hours of labor and the hours of leisure there is always a dilemma between choosing as to how much hours he should put in into work and how much hours he should be giving for leisure labors to start with would always like to put in more hours into work or labor but after a certain point after a certain level when they are earning enough they would want more leisure so there's always a choice that needs to be made between the two the last factor is labor is a mobile factor of production labor is an active factor of production labor can be transported from one place to another labor by himself can produce goods although there might be some difficulties in transporting labor from one place to another labor still remains a very mobile factor of production